Hi guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to another vlog. I want to mention before we get into this video that I do have a sponsor for today's vlog and it's a very important one to me and this video is sponsored by BetterHelp and I'm very grateful for this partnership because personally I have been dealing with anxiety lately and it's like the weirdest thing. I don't even know why but I feel like I've just had the worst anxiety in like social situations which is so unlike me like and i don't even know why this is happening um but it's just something that i have been dealing with for a few months and it really helps being able to talk to a licensed therapist about just things that are going on in your life because i feel like they are so knowledgeable and can help you get through things and it's really nice to also just be able to speak to somebody that's not a family member or a friend because sometimes I feel like even though my family and friends would never judge me or would never get annoyed like I don't want to be putting like my problems on other people and I just like being able to like talk to a therapist and somebody who is really just like there to listen and help you so I just wanted to quickly mention what BetterHelp is and what they do and it is a online website where you can sign up and they have over 200,000 licensed therapists they have so many to choose from and you can fill out a questionnaire and then get matched with your own personal therapist and you can do like video calls with them you can call them on the phone you can do live chats whatever you feel comfortable with and it's a lot more affordable than like actually going into a therapist's office and for me like I wish that I went to therapy a few years ago when my parents were getting divorced I know that it would have helped me so much but I honestly didn't even know where to start or where to even look for a therapist there's just so many around that I wish I had known about about better help back then because I know that it would have helped me tremendously so if you are interested in trying out better help you can use my link down below it is better help.com slash Maggie Mac and you can try out better help and if you want to switch therapists you can do that free of charge it's super easy and they just want to make sure that you're with somebody who you trust and feel comfortable with I feel like mental health is something that people talk about a lot more nowadays and it makes me so happy because no matter what circumstances you have in your life like everybody deals with things no matter what so it's normal and never feel like you are alone because chances are there's somebody out there multiple people out there who feel the exact same way as you do and they just don't publicly talk about it so i just wanted to get on here and mention that you are not alone if you deal with like anxiety or social anxiety that's just something that i'm dealing with right now in my life and it's been super nice to talk to somebody about it and it's just made me feel like a lot more relieved and like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders and they can help you come up with like little things to help your anxiety and it just makes you feel so much better so check out better help thank you guys so much again for sponsoring today's video and the link is down below in the description so let's get on into the vlog good morning you guys it's monday today i honestly feel so sick and my throat like i don't know what happened in my throat but mac and i both have like a cold so yesterday i just rested and did absolutely nothing and it was honestly really nice to just like rest because I really needed it, but I just showered, did my skincare, and got ready. I'm wearing this little cute set from Aloe. I'll link it for you guys, but it's like a navy blue. It's the Aloe Soft collection, which is my favorite line of theirs. And yeah, it's super comfy. I'm honestly going to go online and buy more of them right now because I want to see if they have more colors because these sets are so soft. And I love them, but I'm gonna make a little smoothie this morning. I'm not sure if I, yeah, I think it was my last vlog. I shared this smoothie recipe that I've been making every day, and it's so good. You guys have to make it. It's like I'm obsessed with it right now. Okay, so I have my blender, and I'm just gonna take a handful of spinach to start. You know, I'm just gonna add the rest of this in. And then for fruit, I do frozen banana. And then I also do some of these dark cherries. 
and then we have frozen wild blueberries and then you don't have to add strawberries but i like to just throw in like four or five of these little <laughs> frozen strawberries and this is like the key ingredient pitted dates i do two of these and this is for two servings everything that i'm adding right now and i don't measure out the fruit or anything i just kind of eyeball it but if i was just making this for myself i would only do one date and then I take this grass-fed yogurt and I'm just gonna add, eyeball a little bit of this. I feel like adding yogurt makes it like super creamy. You could also add a dairy-free yogurt if you don't eat dairy. And then this is the liquid. I just do coconut water. store i need to get some groceries because we have nothing so i'm gonna go in and get some stuff to make dinner and then just like some stuff to have for the week i'm also running low on bananas for smoothies so i'm gonna get those but yeah i'll do a little grocery haul once i get home i'm so hungry right now though like all i've had today was a smoothie and a scone and i'm like shaking i'm so hungry i need to like get a little snack when i go in there but i changed my outfit i got these pants i'll show you them when i get back but they're these like parachute pants that i got on amazon because i saw them on tiktok and i was like you know what i want to try them out and they're really cute so i opened them up today they came in the mail and i'm wearing them and that is that i'm still like not really feeling good it sucks like when your your throat hurts because i don't want to drink anything i don't want to drink water coffee nothing and like i need to drink water because i haven't really had that much water today so i'm like trying so hard to drink my hydro flask and it's just like such a struggle but i'm gonna run into whole foods right now get what i need to get and then once i get home we'll do grocery haul and all of that Okay, I just got home. I started unboxing or unpacking all the groceries and I put away two bags and I totally forgot to vlog. So I'm gonna show you guys just an overview of like all the other stuff that I got that I haven't put away yet. A lot of the stuff is to make dinner tonight, which I'm gonna show you guys step by step what I'm doing. I'm making a vodka sauce and then I'm making homemade meatballs and I'm gonna keep like the extra leftover meatballs for lunch and make meatball subs so i got some of these rolls i got the pasta for tonight pureed tomatoes bacon i love having bacon for breakfast i love putting it in sandwiches too so i got two things of it because we go through it really fast i got some cheddar cheese and then provolone grapes popcorn some of this grass-fed butter more tomatoes and then some mango and watermelon and then i also got some heavy cream garlic this chocolate right here, some parsley for the meatballs, and then I got some sourdough, some crackers and brownies by Simple Mills. I love, love, love this brand. The ingredients are very, very clean and minimal. I'm trying to see if this will focus. Yeah, here we go. Clean and minimal ingredients, which we love, so I'm gonna make those tonight. Um, I got some olives, basil, balsamic glaze, and some hydrangeas and then what else did i get tomato paste some of this pecorino romano cheese a shallot bananas fresh fruits we have peaches and plums some avocados tomatoes stuff like that and that's all that i got that's still out <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away. And then in a little bit, we are gonna start cooking dinner. And I'm very excited. I've been craving 
penne alla vodka or like vodka sauce. I'm not using penne, I'm using this right here, but I've been craving vodka sauce and meatballs, so I'm very excited. I'm starting to make the meatballs right now, which I will show you guys step by step, but first I cut up six, actually seven cloves of garlic. I did them like really thin and I have a whole entire bunch of basil, which I'm going to infuse this olive oil right here. I took my Le Creuset Dutch oven and I'm gonna make the meatballs in this. And so the first step is I'm gonna make a red sauce for them to cook in and I want to infuse it with some garlic and basil. So what I'm gonna do is add all the garlic and the basil to the cold olive oil. Once you turned on the burner, I'm just gonna let it cook until the basil starts to get brown and it's all wilted, and then I'm gonna take it out. All right, once you've taken out the basil, I'm now gonna add two cans of tomato puree into the pot. All right, the sauce, I'm letting it come to a boil, and then I'm gonna simmer it and add the meatballs once they are cooked which that is the step that we're getting to right now and this is my meatball recipe well i got this recipe from my brother actually and i've made them a bunch they're so good so what you are going to need are breadcrumbs pecorino romano cheese eggs two eggs per pound of meat i have some organic ground beef right here i saved three tablespoons of the tomato sauce to add into my mixture. We have three cloves of garlic, and then I'm also going to add three tablespoons of heavy cream. Okay, so I'm just gonna add all of my parsley to my mixing bowl. I personally really love using these stainless bowls. They're so easy to cook with. They're my favorite, they're really easy to clean, and I just love them. We're gonna add that, and then I'm adding my three tablespoons of tomato puree. Okay, now we're gonna add three tablespoons of heavy cream. And then I'm gonna crack two eggs. Okay, then we're gonna do a full cup of breadcrumbs and also a full cup of the pecorino cheese. Okay, then I'm just gonna mix all of this together before adding in the ground beef and this mixture is just going to add a lot of flavor to the meatballs and also give it just like some moisture and it makes it so perfect okay this is where it gets a little bit messy because i need to mix up all of the meat and that mixture that we made so we can make the meatballs. Honestly though, I like try to do it with a little like spatula thing like that, but it never works. You really just gotta get in there and use your hands, which I hate doing when I have long nails. Just make sure you really wash your hands after, but I'm gonna use my hands because that's honestly the best way I feel like to do it. And I wish I had like a kitchen glove or something, but we're just gonna go ahead and use our hands and then roll out the meatballs. with olive oil coated the whole entire bottom with it and then we have our perfect meatballs and I'm gonna sear the meatballs on both sides and just make them nice and crispy and this is how you can see if your oil is hot if bubbles form around your wooden spoon which this does not so it's not ready yet but once it is I'm just gonna add the meatballs to the oil cook them on both sides and then add them directly to the sauce which is simmering hi you guys I just got out of the shower 
a little bit ago. I went to the beach today with Mac and now I'm just gonna clean up the house a little bit. I wanna edit this video, I wanna have another video to edit that I wanna upload either today or tomorrow. So I'm gonna sit down and do <laughs> some work. Milo, your toy is not up there. This one right here, and he thinks that it's on top of the fireplace, but it's not. And I just can't give it to him because Max will rip it up into shreds and they like fight over it. Like the squeakers are, oh, here they go. The squeaker is already like broken. Oh, this is not for you. And that's not for you either. So yeah, Milo's like barking at the fireplace. He thinks that the toy's on top of the fireplace and that he's gonna get it, but he's not because we can't have those types of toys because they don't last. But anyway, I finished washing and drying, well, air drying all of the pieces for the couch. I washed them in the washing machine and hung them on the roof to dry. And they came out pretty nice, honestly. I really don't like the feeling when you hand wa or like wash stuff in the wash machine and then hang it to dry yeah. it gets like crunchy almost you know so that's like kind of what this feels like it's not as soft as it is when i dry it which i don't even think you're supposed to dry this anyway since it's linen but i washed all the pieces and they came out pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and put the couch back together which i'm very excited about because this is what the couch looks has been looking like for the past week and I just can't wait for it to like look normal again and to get this living room back in shape. Okay, the couch is done. Well, except for this piece right here, I had to rewash this one because I think it got a little mark on it from one of the chairs upstairs that I had it drying on. So I haven't put the covers back on this section right here, but I did all of these and they just look so good. And I swear, when I wash them, it like makes them fluff up even more. And I always get questions about how I keep my white couch clean because having dogs, and I don't have kids, but if you have kids, dogs, furniture does get dirty. And I feel like I wouldn't shy away from getting white furniture if you like the look of it because it is easy to keep it clean because you can just take like the cushions off and wash them which is what I do and then I like to just put like a blanket right here because the dogs like to come and like lay right here but this part of the couch like I don't know I feel like you just can't be crazy about it because it is what it is and everything can be washed and um, dogs don't know any better so I feel like you can't like get mad at them if they get your piece of furniture or whatever messy, it's so easy to clean. So yeah, I just put them in my washing machine on the gentle or like hand wash cycle and then I either hang them to dry or I just throw them in the dryer and I've had this couch for three years and honestly it's in really good condition still. So yeah. I just made a little snack. I did tomato, mozzarella, prosciutto, and I put basil on top, drizzled it with olive oil and some balsamic glaze. And then I also, when I cut up the tomatoes, I put a little bit of like flaky salt on them. And this looks so good. Hi guys, I just got out of the bath. It's a little bit later since I last vlogged, but I feel, so nice and clean. I put away so much laundry and uh, just washed my face. The room is all clean. <laughs> I had so much laundry everywhere, like you guys have no idea. And I just took a bubble bath with this Necessaire. I bought the body wash in the fragrance free, and it's like the refillable one. And I use this for bubble bath, and it's so good. And I just love the little aluminum container that, that it comes in because I think that it's really cute <laughs> in your bathroom. But I just did that and then I washed my face. My face has been breaking out so bad after I was using the Rode moisturizer. And I've gotten like comments and people have tagged me in it 
of like other people saying that it made their skin like it helped clear their skin but for me the moisturizer the main ingredient is shea butter and that's like a big no for acne prone skin which is the skin that i have and my skin has looked like this ever since i started using it and i literally have a picture of my skin the day before i used it i had no breakouts and now my skin is like freaked out but it's okay because honestly it is what it is and i'm gonna go ahead and use some of this interfuse face and neck treatment cream by skin better science i love skin better science i've been using it honestly for years and it's never like broke up my skin or anything hi guys i realized when i was editing this vlog that i got cut off at the end because the dog started barking and going crazy and mac got here so they like were freaking out um but i finished my skincare ended up going to bed and that is that but stay tuned for my next vlog because i have a few more vlogs that i have edited and are ready to be uploaded after this video so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those videos i have a lot of fun stuff coming up which i'm very excited about emma's 21st birthday is next week so we're going to be doing like a fun boston vlog for that and then i have just like some other things which you guys will see very very soon and i'm so excited but i love you all so much and i'm so grateful for each and every one of you and i love you truly from the bottom of my heart and i hope that you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye